What's up YouTube? This is Victor on the Let Me Explain show and um, today I would like to talk about uh, the herbal journey once again. Now why I did this video in particular is just to answer a question that uh, drew my attention and this was somebody who bought uh, Biofero from Dr. Sebi's website. I did do a video on Biofero when I first bought it and used it and I had amazing results. I must say they were amazing. The results were that I slept better and I felt full of energy and that was after a long time of feeling depleted and um the first morning i took it i woke up well you know i woke up and when i say that i mean um usually when i wake up it, it takes a while for me to get into gear and um, gather my thoughts and so on but the first night after i took uh, the biofero i just i was just alert and same thing with viento that i bought from dr sebi's website um, I was just alert. It kicked in right away. Now, why I'm mentioning this is because um, somebody posted that uh, it did not work for them at all. I must say that um, there are various factors that I think could hinder its working. Actually, that I know will hinder its working. But before I go any further, I would like to state that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a herbalist, and I'm by no means recommending that you start taking the herbs that I mentioned in this video. What I'm rather doing is giving you pointers as to what I'm using, what have I, what I have experienced, and hoping that you will do your research, do your due diligence, speak to a herbalist and your doctor, and see what works for you. Because this is where it's at. If your doctor knows best your your, your body makeup and what could be best for you. Now that being said, um, if you're on alcohol, um, heavy sugar diet, you know, uh, uh, processed food, so foods and so on, your body's going through a lot to process all that. And it will hinder um, the impact of the herbs when you take them. So that's why Dr. Sebi recommended that you should fast before you start your herbal journey. And he recommended a three-day um, uh, liquid fast um, before you embark on your journey. That way your body is ready to receive the good stuff after it's gotten rid of all the toxins in your, um, the toxins, not all the toxins, the toxins in your system. It's also a good thing to note that your diet will have a major impact on, um, on the, on the functionality of the herbs. In other words, your results will also depend on what you're eating at the moment and um, how much water you, your water intake is very important. You've got to drink a lot of water. In my case, I drink over a gallon and a, a gallon of water a day. And that's a lot of water from where I came from. I used to be a Coke and coffee guy, type of guy, like six bottles of Coke every day. And right now I'm noticing amazing results. Now, going on to how long it took, it did take a long time. It did take a very long time for, for the herbs to, to really kick in and for me to sense that the food I ate yesterday is really having an effect on me. Usually, it would be like, you know, it would be the norm. I wouldn't know the difference. But after taking the herbs, I started, no, it's, uh, after about a year, a year and a half, I started really being attuned to what the food I eat does to my system and usually it's the morning uh, after uh, you know after I eat something then you know because I know how I feel when I feel great I also know how I feel when I feel depleted and not so great so now I'm at the point where I've decided I'm cutting all meat products out I'm in the process of doing that like no meat at all if you watched my previous videos I didn't mention that I eat meat once a once a month or so but living in America has taught me that uh, clean meat is expensive and hard to come by. So I'm just going to totally cut it out, like totally cut it out. And of course, the myth is, where well, will you get your protein? And that's a whole nother video. If you want me to do one on, about that, please, I'll link it below. But um, I would just like to say there are many sources of protein out there. And it's a myth. It's, it's The protein myth is... A, it, is alive and well and so is the whole dairy thing you know that you need to drink milk uh, i mean that's that's a big hoax anyway that's another video like i said so going back to the herbs it takes knowing yourself it will take knowing yourself to to get to the point where you totally get um the benefit of the herbs you're taking so 
don't expect it to be an instant thing. It might be for some, like for me, Biofero really kicked in. So in conclusion, I would say that when you start, when I started my herbal journey, I had no idea what herbs worked for me and how they would impact me. But mostly I had no idea how long it would take and um, what changes I had to make. So it, it's really been an interesting learning curve for me to see what works for me and what doesn't and in what amounts and what happens if I don't take that much water and I take my herbs. What happens if I take herbs in combination? So I, you know, I'm tabulating, tabulating all these results and for myself, because this is knowing myself, this is about me, my body and the stuff I'm taking. So it becomes a really personal journey because if, if I were to recommend something to you and I say, take this and take, drink this amount of water and you live in a very, um, uh, uh, humid environment uh, where you wouldn't need to take as much water as somebody who lives in a hot environment that's a hot and dry environment then there's a disparity there already that's why i don't recommend um people take my word for it and do exactly what i do i recommend they take the herbs um research them take take the name of the herb research it find out if if it's what you need and what you want find out its properties Consult somebody who's in the herbal industry. Find out um, what they think and say about it. And then you can make your own decision from there. But once again, it, it, it's a time. It's, it's, it's time-based. It's, it's a process. So it will take time that varies based on your body, body makeup and also your environment. And your environment includes your, the weather and um, um, your activity and... Um, and also the food you eat. So so there are a lot of variables that come into this picture. And I just recommend people take the time to get a notebook and write down the, the herbs you're in, interested in based on what you want to, to solve within your body. For, for my case, I was I started off looking for a herb that would help me with my energy because I was um I was uh, uh pronounced to, to have um an iron deficiency. Um, so basically, I had to take something, anemia. I was anemic. So I wanted something that would boost my iron and thereby boost my energy. And burdock root did the trick for me because it's iron rich. But there are other herbs that are also iron rich out there that will have a similar effect. But for me, I was lucky to strike a burdock root and it worked perfect. So I stuck with it. That's one of my key um, uh, uh, ingredients in my herbal journey. Then I have Irish sea moss. Now, what, why did I take Irish sea moss? The reasoning behind why I took it was because I wanted a diet that was um, um, rich in nutrients and also natural. So something that would nourish my body, give it the building blocks it needs to heal and to perform at an optimum level. So I researched it and I found out about Irish sea moss. And um, once again, this was a Dr. Sebi recommendation. And he talked about um, how the, the, it strengthens your bones. And, you know, he does this dramatic thing where he kneels uh, with a thud on the stage just to demonstrate how strong his knees are at 80. So Irish sea moss is amazing because if you know anything about it, during the Irish um, uh, hunger, hence the name Irish sea moss, people actually lived off Irish sea moss for years uh, during the, the, the famine in, in Ireland. So as you can see, it's, um, it's really a journey where you discover what works for you and you, you tweak it um, um, are you, by adding other herbs or taking out other herbs. Uh, one of the other herbs I use is elderberry. And why I'm mentioning this is to show you my process, what I did to get to where I am. I'm saying when I take herbs, I don't get sick. Just this past week, I, I had a terrible eye infection. So I had to go back to my eye, eye wash and I washed it out. But it it didn't last that long. It lasted maybe two days, um, uh, was at its most severe point, And after that, it already started healing. So... Um, when I compare that to previous um, 
eye ailments I've had. I've had to go to the doctor, get the eye ointment, use it for seven days, and then I would see it's clearing up. But this time, I, I actually had a serious infection, I think, because I work in an environment where sick people come through all the time. I'm not sure where it came from, but I, I presume it came from my working environment. So when I when I take my herbs, I've I've noticed that my healing time is shorter and the symptoms are not so severe. So once again, I would like to emphasize that these are my results and I'm not saying you will get exactly the same results. Um, you will have to tailor your herbal journey to you, to what your body needs, to what your environment responds to, to what your... Uh, your work life cycle is like so get to know your body get to know you it's a worthy investment because if I can wake up with a clear mind and get going in two minutes without um, stretching and yawning and wondering what day it is and uh, what I wanted to do you know I wake up with a very clear mind and um, it's really amazing what um, the transformations I've gone through so I would recommend you start the journey but remember it's a journey it's not about a destination to say you'll feel like Superman tomorrow, all right? But if you do stick with it and watch what you eat, see what effect it has on you. And the best way to, to do that is to cut out the food you normally eat. Try to, go, try to go green, you know, eat greens for a day. It won't kill you. But see how you feel the morning after. Try to note down those results. You know, then go back to your regular diet, note down those results again and see if you can start seeing a trend on how you feel in the morning when you get up. Try to note your energy levels and it doesn't have to be um, super complicated. The way I do it is I just write down I was low energy today. I remember I ate one, two, three, four items um, and, and this, this is how they were prepared. I just try to note down important information so that I can... I can track the results and see where I'm at. So, um, that being said, I recommend that you invest in the most important thing in your life, which is your body and your mind. And your, the food you eat will affect your mind. And the way you think will affect your actions. And your actions will affect your mind. So the cycle goes on and on. And... And you want to create a cycle that, one, you're, you're more in control of, and two, that you can manage, and three, that that is good for you. You don't want to create a cycle where you wake up grumpy, you have a grumpy day, you end up having a grumpy life because you're always waking up grumpy. Who wants a grumpy friend? I used to be that guy. That's why I speak on it. All right, I wish you well in your herbal journey. And if you've got any comments... I'll be very happy to receive them. I'm very responsive. I will answer to those. Please um, hit subscribe to be surprised about the different videos I do. I don't just do videos on herbs, so you might be surprised to see what you see. But I promise it will be interesting. All right? Remember, you're fragile. Tell them, do not lay flat. Have a blessed one.